Okay, next is how to create a Google Forms inside the drive. All you need to do is, again, to get, click plus new. And then look for Google Forms. And then after that, click Google Forms. Create and sh share. And then a new tab will appear. And this will become the, the new Google form so uh, all you need to do is to type the title of the event example this is monthly okay. monthly meeting attendance okay then after that when you click in the middle so it will automatically reflect so let's type the information. So this first part, the information is name. Okay, so don't forget to click this required. Okay, required. Okay, so that uh, participants will, uh, are required to answer this, this uh, question. So this is short answer. So they are going to type there name next one is we have the plus icon okay so all you need to do is to click that for you to add the new question okay so and then you type the next uh next information example you, know, you want to get the email and then click required okay so another Example, you're going to add a new question. Click plus icon again. Then gender. Okay. So in gender, you can put an exact uh, word. Example, male, female, LGBTQ. Okay. So all you need to do is to change this multiple choice into a drop down. Okay, and then you type on the option one, option one, male, then option two, female, and then option three is LGBTQ. Okay, so after that, don't forget to click the required. Okay, required. All right. Okay, and the last one, let's add a new question and then let's type age. Okay, so short answer and then required. Okay, so if you want to view, okay, your form. So we have here an icon which is preview at the upper top part, upper right side. We have the preview which is look like an eyes or eye. Let's just click eye. And then you can simulate and answer the form. Sample, I want to write my name, Sherwin Domena. And my email, Sherwin Domena. At gmail.com. And then drop down your uh, gender, sample male, and my age is 41. Then if I click submit, Okay, so it will automatically create a response when you go back to your original form. So the responses will appear here. Just click responses and you will automatically see the responses of your participants. So we have here a plus sign which is look like a spreadsheet or the Google slide. Okay, so all you need to do is to click plus and then create and then this form will create a google slide for you okay so it's a complete record of all the attendance including the time okay the date the name the complete information of your participants during the event Okay, so another thing that you need to learn from uh, 
Google form is this one. We have here the gear icon or the setting beside the eye. So just click that. Send. Then you have here a restriction. You can create a restriction. Sample. Uh, so by default, this is Department of Education because I'm using DepEd account. So I'm going to uncheck that. Okay, so I'm going to limit the response to one. Okay, so that uh, the participant will not submit another response after using their email. Okay, and then you can also create a thank you response in uh, on the presentation. You will see here a confirmation message. You can type thank you for thank you for joining us on our training. Then after that. The upper right side you have the save button. Do not do not forget to click save. Okay. And then how are you going to send this form to the participants? Okay, so you have here the send icon. Okay, so all you need to do is to click send. And then uh, you have you will see here an email. So you can send it via email. All you need to do is to type the email here. Sample, my email address. Okay. So just type all the email or copy paste the email if you have a copy. Okay, so that's the first option. The second option is to send it through a link going to the GC in Facebook or Messenger. Okay, so you have here the icon which is look like a link. You just click it and the link will appear you can shorten the url or the link just click the square okay so it will shorten the link and then after that copy and then this link can be used in gc or you can send it directly to the person using this link okay so that is how to use uh, how to create Google Form, how to restrict the Google Form, how to preview Google Form, and how to send your Google Form. Okay, so that's it.